Okay guys, so today we're going to make cauliflower rice. So instead of using normal rice, we're going to use the cauliflower as a substitute for rice. So this is what we're going to need. We have one head of cauliflower here. I'm just going to cut it a little smaller than this and we're going to put it in our food processor. Um, and pulse it to get to that consistency of rice. We're also going to use two seasoning peppers. We're also going to use um, three garlic cloves. This will come in when we are cooking our cauliflower over the stove. We're going to use half of a red bell pepper as well and some sive as well when we're cooking our cauliflower over the stove. And of course, we're going to use a little chicken broth and we will also need salt to season. So let's get to rough chopping this a little smaller and pulsing it in our food processor. And we will cut up the seasoning pepper and the garlic and the sive as well. Okay, so we cut our cauliflower a little smaller. We're going to put it in. We don't want to overcrowd our food processor because we just want to get it to that uh, grainy rice consistency. So we don't want to overcrowd it too much. All right, that looks just about right. So. I'm going to transfer this into a bowl and then I'm going to pulse the rest of it. Okay, so here we have our cauliflower rice. So now we're going to cut up the rest of these things and we're going to head over to the stove to cook it. Actually, what I'm going to do with the garlic, I'm just going to use my, my garlic press to, to crush it. All right, so let's head over to the stove so that we can cook everything. All right, so let's light our stove. So we want to heat up our pan here. Now the pan that I'm using here, this is a non-stick um, ceramic pan. So I'm just going to use a little olive oil in order to uh, saute the garlic and the seasoning pepper and my sive and then and of course my um my bell pepper and then i'm going to add in my cauliflower rice um you can cook the cauliflower rice to your preference so anywhere from five to ten minutes um, and of course, whatever texture you prefer, you cook it to, to your liking. So um, it will vary for individuals. All right, so I'm going to put just a little bit of olive oil here. Ooh, well, that's a little more than I wanted, but that can work as well. So let me add in my garlic and my seasoned pepper and my side. I will also add in the, the bell pepper as well so that that can get soft. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to add in our cauliflower rice. Okay, 
So at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of chicken broth. So I'll just leave this for a few minutes so that it can cook and I will serve a softening and um, if I need to add any more liquid, if I find it's getting too dry, I will just do that. But we'll just leave this now for a few minutes so that it can do what it needs to do. And But basically that's it. Once this is finished cooking to your liking, um, that's it. You have your cauliflower rice, of course. Hold on, we need to add some salt to this now. So let's add our salt. Of course, if you want to add black pepper, you can do that as well. So season it to your preference. And now we just want to mix in that. And um, just wait for it to, to finish cooking. And there you have your cauliflower rice, which is a nice substitute um, for regular rice. So be sure to give this recipe a try. It's very simple and it's very healthy. And um, feel free to share with family and friends. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. What I also added at the end was the juice of half of a lime and some cilantro and that really enhanced the taste of the dish so when you give this recipe a try be sure to squeeze some lime juice in it and to try the cilantro as well so there we have it folks our cauliflower rice is all completed thanks for watching see you in my next video bye for now <music>